Hi there, I'm Robert Dudzik and I'm very happy today and honored to introduce to you the brand new recorder from Tascam Porta Capture X8. And here it is. That's the a long time wait successor of the great recorder that I absolutely love it too, the Tascam DR100 MK3. But that was 2016. That's 2021, it's been five years difference. And as you see the difference, they're pretty much identical size, except the microphone capsule standing a little bit higher, but you can detach them and we're gonna get to this thing. And I have to say, right from the bat, it's lighter, this one is more heavy. Now, if you see right here, we only have four buttons and one navigation wheel. Here we have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve buttons up front, then the scrolling wheel and the volume, sensitive gain, and so many things on the side. And it's only two channels. This thing, the Porta Capture X8, the name say all, it's an eight track recorder. It means for me it's replaced at this moment it's replaced for me DR680, MK2, what I use, or so many other recorders what I was using, multi-track recorder from Tascam. And, and I absolutely love it. But before we go to this thing, I have to tell you something. And I have to be honest with you up front. Yes, I do have a relationship in Tascam. And I was lucky then Tascam sent me this recorder around in April. So I have a lot of times to testing, play with this thing. And right up front, I have to tell you, this is not review of this recorder. There will be plenty of reviews done by other people when this recorder will be available and people will be able to get this to their hands. But for me, it's quick overview, basically what they're expecting, showing you how I'm using. And of course, you will see my video showing the samples, how I use this recorder and the field and my setup, how I do my configuration and everything. Pretty much useful things. So how the story start? About four years ago, uh, I was in ES in New York and Erisa from Tascam showed me prototype of Porta Capture. And I think so at this moment there was not even called Porta Capture, but there was just a successor of DR100 MK3. And at this time they showed me it was kind of heavy, chunky, bulky, and there was not there, yeah. I, I like the concept where they've been going, what she told me, what will be in, and that was phenomenal. But it stayed, that was kind of big. You can hold this in the hand, but it's like left weight, <laughs> you know, it's so, kind of bigger. So in this case, if you compare new one to like the iPhone 12 Pro, it's pretty much the same size. Yes, yeah, a little bit thicker because, you know, the inputs. But that's the reason also why I have the iPhone next to me because we're gonna get to this thing. So how I say this, it's an eight track recorder. How do these things work? You can record eight tracks at the same time, similarly, and 192 kilohertz, 32 bit flat. And the, you have six analogs in, and the seven and eight tracks, they will be as you mix down backup tracks what is very phenomenal and I'm using this stuff a lot of times just as a security and so far I only use once but I was lucky I have the security track. So I really like it and of course I have the cool future like pre-record five seconds each record and you maybe say it's like oh it's not enough time but be honest with you when you hit something how long is the hit? Second less. <laughs> so it's working. So let's back to the XA. Porta capture. What the guys did, instead of having all these buttons, they just did manual touchscreen and just work phenomenal. It's very sensitive and you can choose for people who's doing SM MR, or you have like ready preset to go. All you have to do is just press this thing and the settings ready to go back to the menu, to the launch browser, and if you want to do voice, you can just play voice and you can record your voiceover, so whatever you want, you know. Then back to the into launch menu, if you want to recording music, you have all kinds of settings ready for recording music. And now, 
when we're in the music, I want to tell you, show you a very cool thing. Well, I think so. It's very useful. This device come with the optional Bluetooth the device transmitter. It's not very expensive, but you're going to have to buy this and the accessory kit. This is pretty much how they look. It's very small, cheap, and you will place this right here in the back. And when you're placing, you see the light blue is cutting out. It means it's activate. And all you have to go, go to the App Store when you're going to get all the links and basically just download the app from the Tascam Capture, click connect, and they will be connecting. So now when the both devices are connected to each other, this is exactly mirror image. If you're going to go recording music, all you have to go place this recorder and the microphone stand up front, your violin player, trumpet, or you want to record in like a choir or, or anything. All you have to go, go to music. And we have music settings. And now you are able to remotely control this record from even next room or stay next to them or just sit on the side and enjoy. And let's just control. And as you see, it's very sensitive. The way how I use a lot of times if, and you're gonna see in the video, if I go, a lot of times I just gonna use and use like in the FX recordings, I just go and go to like audio recording of the sounds and click and choose just like example CD, or you can go to the presets. And this is really cool thing. And the presets, you can select example like in the nature, press nature, and you have all optimizing settings of the recording, create the recording nature. And it's very handful because sometimes you just want to place your recorder down by the water or somewhere when you just don't want to hear your footsteps walking or anything, or just like some animals, or you're waiting for birds coming, it's perfect. So you can hit this thing, and if you want to record in birds, how I say, you can hit, and boom, we can record birds at the same time. You can record podcasts and these things, and you can set, and you can go, and you can record and stream your podcast live, or just record on this device. This recorder also work as a audio interface, when basically you are able to streaming your file, whatever you're recording directly to your computer. All you have to do, just like I do, just take your USB-C cable, when you connect on the right side, and you will be directly connect to your digital workstation or whatever you want and just use this as your audio interface and recording thing. When I'm in the field recording, a lot of times, you know, it's I'm using like batteries, basically it's go and the alkaline batteries. You can put four alkaline battery and it's worked really long time, you know. So, <laughs> so I'm using, but in case I will be running out of this thing, it's good to having like battery charger and all you need pretty much is connect your power supply and you can connect USB-C and you charge from your power and you can always save it. So you're pretty much never going to run um, out of the juice of the recorder. So it's good backup to having so. And my previous video, you probably see me I using Clary with my shotgun microphone. What Tascam did this time, it's, it's brilliant. Right here, not only typical screw when you can mount to your stand or to like pistol grip, you have the classic horseshoe when you can attach like your remote uh, transmitter for the microphone, something. But in my case, I attach my shotgun microphone and this is how it works. Screw this thing tied up and instead of having my big bar what I have before, I attach my mic. My Microphone is set up and all I have to do, attach my pistol grip right here and, and I'm pretty much ready to go. So that's my new setup, what you're gonna see in the video. And it's phenomenal, of course, you know what I mean? That's your output for your headphones always have a headphones with you. And that's my whole entire gear, what I'm taking with me in the field recording right now. And you see this thing. So this is one of the way I'm using and you will see in the video. Another thing is how I like to use the recorder. It's just be in the studio and what she, actually what I'm doing right now, I'm recording new videos and pretty soon I will be released this thing. And I like to take this recorder and basically plug this to me 
next and my microphone stand right here and I tell you what because it's very convenient I don't have to use any more any preamps because the preamps and this thing the phenomenon so pretty much I can take my external microphones if I want it or any additional pickup plug them in the side and when I'm working in my sound stage I call my table Everything is right under me to controlling. So it's, it's a really brilliant idea. And if I want it, just all I have to do is just hit record and it's done. So here on the side, that's your volume for the headphones. Right here, you have additional external in for, uh, in for like external microphones. So if you're gonna have like small mics, what do you like to plug stereo mics? You can plug them right here. And you have the camera output if you wanna send your audio directly to your camera. You can go directly from here and again having the horseshoe you are able to mount this recorder directly on your video camera rig and the other side here is the little piece bar when you rec you attach you uh basically you can attach you like a hand strip you know for, for your wrist and actually i kind of highly recommend you because a lot of times i find out like something's happening you know, and I mean you might gonna drop this thing it's better spend maybe 10 bucks on something like this and make sure it's safe so I would highly recommend using this thing another thing right here this is where you place your micro SD card and it's go up to 512 gigabytes so this is micro SD this is where you're placing like and it's pretty good to go right here on the left side it's your power switch on and off and this is cool thing is hold if you move to the app after it's me all the settings what you have setting for recording it's pretty much freeze and if you touch anything nothing's gonna happen on the left side here when the light is blinking blue it's me you connect to bluetooth what i say is optional and here is your peak illumination and this is a little thing for the speaker if you want to listen to audio you can listen to preview on the audio on the speaker or you can just listen on your headphones. Personally, I use the headphones. I like to hear the full range. The microphones, they're really cool, they're detachable. It's mean, we can take them out. And if you work in the studio and want to use them, you don't have to. So now it's pretty much size of the iPhone. <laughs> so, but you can change the microphone positions. So you can plug them we have another configurations for the recording, what's phenomenal too. So there you have it. This is Porta Capture X8. Okay.
So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.